Hey, good morning. This is Pranav from the EPS Diary. How are you doing today? Uh, today we will talk uh, some of the feature of SQL Server 2019. Uh, so far I have not touched SQL Server much. I just had one video wherein I have done the comparison of SQL Server and Sybase. How does that differentiate in terms of performance, in terms of index hint. So that is one video. So this is my second video but then this will be only for SQL Server. I don't do much of these videos because SQL Server community is really very rich. We have so many SMEs who are having you know, tons of resources and they are really good. Okay, so I, but I still thought let me, uh, you know, contribute my bit and let me see what I could, uh, if, if I could help you in any way. Okay, so today we'll talk about some of the key feature of SQL Server 2019. Let's start with the lab. Okay, so here I am actually uh, taking batch table. Batch table wherein uh, you can understand in, in this way that whenever you ask any question and it has got a certain number of people who has, who has viewed it or you have put some answer which is really uh, really liked by many people and they have uh, no given thumbs up to you so these kind of things are there i mean i will just give you one example wherein you can make out what is the, uh, no what does this table contain in stack overflow database okay so select star from batch let me just give you one example see for for instance user id 994 who has got the batch of teacher right so how we will find out is we'll go to stack overflow database i mean stack overflow site so stack overflow.com slash users slash 994 okay so mr simon is the user and you can see view all badges if you go here you will see teacher batch you will see there are so many other batches so uh, in this particular video what i'm going to show you is how we are going to group these batches with their ids okay so if you see here uh, name and the count so how many uh, uh, people has got this kind of batches so you have teacher batch you have you know, yearling batch your different uh, types of batch so this right now i will just uh, before starting let's uh, set up the lab so drop all the indexes if it is there oh, let me stop the previous query first okay because it's a big table so drop all the indexes first all right okay and then let's clear the cache if there is anything and for this example i am taking max stop as one okay so that it will not have any parallelism things and all okay so let's run the query name count star from bash so, so here we are using aggregate function and let's see how much time does this take okay so here i've enabled the io stats and time stats and i've also enabled the actual execution plan so we'll see how does the ex uh, execution plan look like in sql server 2019 Okay, so it took 15 seconds. Okay, you can see this all our name of batches and how many people are, uh, how many counts are there in Stack Overflow database. So if you see execution plan, it is doing cluster index scan because we don't have any NC indexes. We have already dropped all the indexes. And uh, it doesn't have any NC index. So this is the one that I told you. And in terms of uh, logic read and time, we can see here in the message tab okay so we'll not uh, not talk much about that because this is actually reading the full table right okay so now uh, how to improve performance of this is there anything that comes to your mind to improve the performance of this without having any uh, new index uh, introducing okay so one way we could think is 
uh, as you know whenever you run a query there is a new stats being generated okay and the name of that is starts with wa washington and sys is for sybase okay because this is something sql server it was basically sybase but then it, it parted its own ways and it's a different story now okay so let me show you if we expand the batch table here tables batch okay so index as you know there is no index and on nc index it's only primary keeps clustered index and you can see here it is on the second column so we are grouping on the name right so this is second column so you can see here second column this is uh, creating stats on the second column so now you want to see what is the content of this statistics okay so you can see this table contains a, a record almost 27 million whereas the number of record which has been sampled is only 355,000 uh, rows right so what if if we update the stats with full scan so then in that way we'll have the full sample sample means suppose you're taking a survey suppose you're taking salary survey in us okay and uh, you can say one specific state of us not the complete entire us and in that state if you uh, take like few samples from here few samples from there few samples from somewhere else and then you aggregate them and then you average them out right then you find out that this is the average salary but what if you missed out one important part which is uh, no which is occupied by most of the rich people or other way around so in that way then average salary will not be accurate right so uh, we will just update this with the full scan which means it will have each and every row which will be part of sample right so let's execute this it will take a while because it's a little bit of big in size this table match table let's see after this is done then we'll see the plan and how much time does this take okay so let's see how much time this is taking is there any improvement before it took 15 seconds as you as you would have seen 10 seconds, 11, 12, 13. So I don't really see any improvement. Okay, any change here? Let me, I, I forgot to show you one thing. Let me clear the plan once again and drop the indexes. Drop index will clear the stats also. So we don't have any stats right now. If I refresh this, you will not see any stats, okay? Okay, so I just wanted to show you one thing that the estimate versus actual okay let it take 15 seconds and then i will show you yes 12 13 14 15 seconds okay and let's see the ex execution plan you see this is not accurate this is not really matching the actual versus estimate is not really matching okay so our whole idea to update the statistics is to match them okay so what we'll do we'll run this again with full scan once it is done then we'll have to clear the cache so that whatever things were there already in the cache will not be used this will take around few seconds just wait for this to be completed okay now we will clear the cache and now you will see the execution plan will have estimate versus actual it will be same there will be no difference it will be 100 percent fifteen seconds let's wait but per se updating statistics is not helping us in terms of performance you can see execution plan yes it's matching exactly 100 percent so actual versus estimate is perfect but still it's taking time what is the other way the other way is we can improve the performance by having an index so, okay so let's do that let's create the index on the name column because we are grouping on the name column of batch table right so once we have the index created then we'll rerun the query and we'll see how much time does that take so now if you run it was taking 15 seconds before now it will take lesser time let's see how much time does this take 
five, six, and seven seconds, right? Okay, in terms of execution plan, this will be different now because now we have index, so it will do index scan. And logically also it will reduce because now it will not do the exact, I mean, full table scan, it will do only index scan. Okay, now let's drop our indexes. So once you do that, so this will take again 15 seconds as you know. Now what we'll do, we'll open another query window on the same database. Okay, and we'll do one change. Let this get completed first. Okay, 15 seconds. And now let's change the compact level to 2000. 90 before it was in 2017 level okay so now you have another window so we'll copy all these queries from here okay enable the execution plan actual execution plan and let's split this window okay so make it vertical type okay so this took 15 seconds we have a, a execution plan also now same query will run here Okay, enabling execution plan and stats and see how much time does this take now in 2019 compact uh, 2019 compact mode, right? It took it finished in four seconds only. What is the difference? Let's see the execution plan. Doesn't it look exactly same? Yes, 100%, 715%. No difference at all. Then why it uh, finished so fast? Let's understand. Let's see the difference. Let us see the memory, how much it took. It took 3.2 MB. And how much it took previously? It took only 1.1 MB. So what is the difference? If you see here, memory grant info, it's 1.1 MB and there is no feedback. There is a new term here in 2019, wherein we have something called memory grant feedback, okay? So memory grant feedback is something which gives the feedback to the engine after the first execution. So now if you see it says no, it's first execution because it is the only, it's the first time when the query has been executed. When you execute it a second time, if there is wide gap between the memory grant and the actual memory used, then it will do the adjustment. Okay, that is the one thing. Now second thing, second thing you see the property of this what is the execution mode here? This is batch. Whereas in 2017 or before the execution mode was in row. So this is a major change which, ha which has been brought in 2019 SQL Server. Okay. So this is actually concept of plus, uh, no column store indexes which has been brought now for the row store, row store index as well. But this is something which is not across all the functions and across all the thing. It is only applicable so far to aggregate functions okay so that was one thing now let me execute it second time because we saw that memory grant it was having like first execution so if we execute it second time now it will again finish in four seconds and let's see the memory grant any differences there memory grant info you see there is no change in the memory grant and memory which was uh, which was granted before and it says no accurate grant so, so because there is not much difference in terms of memory granted and memory used so it is using that and says it is grant uh, it says the the grant which has been given is accurate okay now you see there is still difference in terms of statistics in the actual and uh, estimated so we can fix that as you know we can again update the statistics with full scan okay we'll do the free prop cache we'll clear the cache and then we'll rerun the query and we'll see <coughs> Sorry. Okay, we'll clear the cache now. And once we re-execute this query, it will supposed to complete in four seconds, right? Yes, and see the execution plan. Yes, it's 100%. So the behavior of that is not changed. It is exactly same. And uh, we could again prove with the index also, if we create the index here, earlier it finished in seven seconds, right? 
so even in 2019 it will take almost same time i don't really expect a difference because there is no change in the underlying logic or from the optimization level or from the engine level okay but we'll see that also so if we run this query it will use our index now and let's see how much time does this take five six and seven so so there is no difference in terms of execution time and in terms of uh, logical read and all so it's exactly same so there is no difference so in 2019 two major things that we have seen is in terms of memory grant that is really changing okay it's three time in some query it could go to multiple time so you need to really fine tune your query and uh, if not then if, if the number of uh, you know queries hitting your engine is really huge in you no know, per minute or like per hour that could make a huge difference in your memory consumption okay that's for, uh, that's one point and second point is there is still some hope that it will get adjusted with the feedback but then you have to keep in mind it will not help in parameter sniffing this will still be there in parameter sniffing but actually it will make the things worse okay so this was the thing so in some of the queries wherein we are using aggregate function in 2019 the performance will be improved by itself without having any involvement of dba okay so this is pretty much of it about the differences of sql server 2016-17 and prior version compared to 2019 so i hope this is something which uh, which helped you if you like the video please like and if you have uh, any feedback or if you want to say something if you if you want me to cover something else please let me know through comment and please subscribe thank you very much have a nice day. Thank you. Bye.